today we'll be talking about the organs and the abdominal cavity. Right here is the liver. The liver is a large black organ found near the center of the ventral side of the pig. The liver produces bile, which is released into the small intestine. The bile breaks down fat molecules so pancreatic enzymes can reach the fat and break it down for nutrients that are absorbed by the villi. Beneath the liver, located right over there, is a pouch-like structure called the gallbladder. The gallbladder stores any excess bile produced by the liver. The stomach, which is a balloon-like structure, is located underneath the liver too. The stomach releases hydrochloric acid inside, so pepsinogen could activate pepsin. Pepsin breaks down protein. The stomach also turns the bolus into chyme. The spleen is a tongue-like structure over here. The spleen is part of the circulatory system and it produces macrophages to remove no, it removes macrophages from the bloodstream. Underneath the stomach right here is a cottage cheese like structure called the pancreas. The pancreas releases hormones such as insulin and glucagen which help regulate the blood, le uh, sh blood sugar levels in the bloodstream. The pancreas also releases pancreatic enzymes and sodium bicarbonate. Pancreatic enzymes help break down nutrients found in the small intestine and sodium bicarbonate help neutralize the stomach acid so that the enzymes will not be deformed. The kidneys located on either side of the pig, one over here, one over here, are both two oval-like structures which help filter the blood. The small intestine is a large tied-up rope structure. It contains millions of villi inside of it, which contain millions of microvilli. This allows for a large surface area so that the nutrients can be absorbed very efficiently. The small intestine's main purpose is to absorb the nutrients and accomplish that it, it accomplishes that through its large surface area. This, the rather thicker structure found next to the small intestine right here is the large intestine. The large intestine's main purpose is to absorb water and produce vitamins and contains ba bacteria which colonize on feces to produce vitamins such as vitamin B and vitamin K. If you trace down to the last coil of the large intestine, you find a thumb-like structure located right here called, called the cecum. The cecum produces cellulase which helps break down cellulose. And if you look if you look beneath the small intestine, right here is the rectum. The rectum, which is coming from the large intestine, stores the waste before being released through the anus, which is located beneath the pig's tail, right over there. Anus, uh, the anus releases the waste. These two, these two structures located along this cord over here are the umbilical arteries. The arteries carry deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood and waste from the fetus to the mother. This thinner structure located near the liver is, is the umbilical vein. The vein carries nutrients from the mother to the fetus. Now, this large, co this large cord right here is the umbilical, the umbilical artery, cord. The umbilical cord carries 
the umbilical arteries and the umbilical veins. Now, on the back of our pig, or located near the bottom right here, is the urogenital papilla. The papilla is a sexual structure of the pig, and it acts as a sex identifier and is only found on females. The hole beneath the urogenital papilla is the urogenital opening where reproductive fluid and waste is released.